Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Warframe. Today we're going to go over my Ember build. Um, this is, I've done an Ember build a very very long time ago, but Ember in particular is definitely worth going over again because she's actually changed quite significantly since I last did a video on her. Um, also the last video I did wasn't the best quality so I wanted to redo it anyway, and since Ember has a new power set it makes a lot of sense to actually go over her again in any case. So first things first, let's go over her abilities, which is more relevant than normal because there, a lot of them are new. Uh, her passive is you receive 5% ability strength for every enemy within 50 meters engulfed in flame. So essentially the more enemies you light on fire, the more damage you do for the most part. Fireball, as it always was, you throw a fireball and it does some damage. Um, it's worth noting that all her abilities were essentially buffed simply because they buffed how fire damage works. Fire damage now strips armor when the enemy is on fire. So if you light an enemy on fire, it will slowly strip its armor until it's no longer on enemy and then it gets all its armor back, I believe is how it works. But fireball, you throw a fireball, it's fairly self-explanatory. Immolation. This is armor. It's been a very long time since Embers had any kind of survivability. She now has it back again with Immolation. Essentially you cast this and you will slowly gain the more fire abilities you use. Essentially if you use fireball, you use inferno. The more enemies you light on fire, the higher that damage reduction will go. You can see there in the little picture how there's a little gauge, I guess would be the best way of describing it, as it slowly fills up until you can say uh, with my current setup, you start at 50% damage reduction. When that gets all the way to the top, you have 90% damage reduction, which is fantastic. And when the meat gets full, it starts to drain your energy. But before then, it doesn't, which is ludicrous. So essentially, uh, Fire Blast will make your gauge to go down, whereas Fireball and Inferno will make your gauge go up. So it's kind of a balancing act of keeping that to try and keep your energy where you want it, as well as having the damage reduction where you want it. And as I said, she has Fire Blast. This is much the same as it was before, except for it's got that added synergy. You slam the ground, and it's a big sort of wall of flame that'll knock everyone back and strip their armor as well, which is quite nice. And then Inferno. This is a big change from where 404 used to be. You throw down meteors, and they hit all the enemies around you. It's very, very cool. Um, and it lights them all on fire, and it will sp that fire will spread. And in when the fire spreads, more enemies are on fire, which means your power strength gets higher because we're a passive. Lots and lots of synergy. Works really well. But, go on to the build. This build here could use another former just to get a couple of these up. Vitality, I could give them max vitality in here if I did another former for instance, but I can't be bothered. Um, this kind of carries me anywhere I need to take it, so I don't really bother. We have Corrosive Projection to get rid of some armor. Power Drift for ability strength. Also, chance to resist knockdown is quite nice. Prime Continuity for a bunch of ability duration. Prime Flow for a bunch of extra energy. Umbral Intensifier for a bunch of ability strength. Augur Message gives us ability duration. Uh, Vitality for some health. Streamline gives us some efficiency. Stretch gives us ability range. And Augur Reach gives us ability range. It's also worth noting that uh, duration goes into the, dam uh, the energy per second that things take. So you see here, Immolation has a drain per second of 4.02. Uh, it's worth noting that's only when you're at maximum. But uh, the reason it's 4.02 and not higher is because we have fairly high duration and some nice efficiency as well. Uh, Arcane Aegis, Arcane Nullifier. Arcane Nullifier, whatever. Arcane Ages is actually quite nice on her. Um, usually I just throw this in randomly, but on this build specifically, Arcane Ages is quite good. Because getting her shield back, even though she doesn't have a huge amount of shields, that kind of... It's a, it's like a soft shield gate, essentially, when you lose all your shields and bam, you get your shields back again. So, it's actually significantly nice for survivability for her, I found. In any case, let's go on to the test. Get all my energy up. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Real world stuff got in the way. Um, so, we do the test. One, I'll turn my two on. So that we have, as you can see there, 50% damage reduction. And we're not losing any energy whatsoever. In fact, I can gain energy while I'm not at max. So you see the bottom right, that's very, very slowly going up. We're now at 52%. 53. It'll slowly go up. Um, it will go up faster. If I start to use fire moves, as you can see there. It's now going quite fast. If I use my 4, it goes up even faster. If I use my 3, it cuts it back down again. So that's how that works. Your 3 will lower the gauge, your 4 and your 1 will increase the gauge. Uh, simulate level 145, let's go. 
You want to light a bunch of guys on fire. As you can see there, there's meteors falling from the sky. You can knock enemies back by hitting your three. And then you just kill things. And it's worth noting, as I said before, that the more enemies are on fire, the higher your power strength. Which flows in quite well because the more enemies you're on fire, the more damage you're doing, the more damage you're doing, the more enemies you're lighting on fire. Tends to work fairly well. Um, if I hit my three, shreds the armor on that heavy gunner. Allows me to kill it fairly easily. And I think that's everything dead. And turn off the shield because I didn't need it anymore. But that's Ember. The new rework is really quite good. I like her a lot. Um, I actually like her a lot better than she used to be. Um, she doesn't have the same niche that she used to have, where you could just like completely wipe an entire low-level map. However, she's far more fun to use now. Um, it used to just be hit four, run through the map. Now you actually have to actively do stuff, which makes it a lot more fun. But, in any case, that's going to be it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.